guys i'm here picking up the nes and sega bundle in little ferry new jersey i found this deal on facebook marketplace the original buyer or seller wanted to sell the whole system for 250 bucks they went down to 200 and included a few games the picture will be on my right um so we'll see what we could do flipping um this bundle I've seen prices go for the systems anywhere from $50 to $100 plus the games depending on the type $10 so you know total games coming with the whole bundle is probably like 30 games if I could just um, unpack it all do them individually I could probably make back my money plus profit I'm gonna try to jab at this kind of system I'm trying to devise where I'll buy you know good systems like wii u sega dreamcast um it would be you know, nintendo cube or close to gamecube it's gonna be gamecube and um see what i could do start flipping video games i have a few uh facebook marketplace um meetings already set up for the next couple of days i'm picking up a wii u sometime later today a whole bundle the wii system wii sport few games plus accessories for the Wii Sport which would be a tennis racket golf club and some other things so that's going for 60 the system probably is 60 bucks plus the games themselves individually and the accessories I could probably make back my money and we'll go from there all right I'm just waiting for the buyer right now or I'm waiting for the seller right now to come by and make the transaction see you in a few minutes all right, guys, I finished up with the seller, gave him the 200 bucks. All the items that were listed were included. Um, it looks good. It looks really good. I have some items here for the Sega. So we got the virtual pinball. We got soccer. We got Madden 97. <laughs> Tasmania. I remember playing this game and a few other games. A whole bag. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Sega games. And a bunch of other games for the Nintendo. As you can see, this is the bag with the Sega games. We actually have the Sonic the Hedgehog in the box. And this goes for about 20 bucks on eBay. Which is a great quick flip plus shipping. And then everything here. We got the Nintendo, the Zapper. It looks really good. The condition, like they took care of it really well. We got the Sega here. We'll unpack it when I get to my place. Super Mario 3. Most likely, don't get me wrong, I'm going to be playing this game for a quick minute just because of the nostalgia of the, the past years when my, uh, when my mom used to play with me when I was a little. So... Oh, uh, let's go take this back to my place and do a quick video of what we got. See you soon. We're going to go over those three things that I picked up from multiple locations through Facebook Marketplace and see if what we could do is we could take the items that I buy, flip them and make a profit. So here we go. So as you can see, we have the Nintendo and Genesis bundle that we picked up. In Little Ferry, New Jersey. This is going to be the Wii U bundle that I picked up in Summit, New Jersey. And then this little thing is like three minutes away from my house. Picked these up for $30. Original seller wanted $40. I got $30 for that. Uh, Original seller on that one wanted 60. I couldn't really talk her down. So I paid less to what she wanted. And then the last one was for $250, which was the Nintendo and Sega bundle, which I think it was a great price. He gave me everything for $200. The ride was pretty long, but wasn't too bad. But I did get a lot of stuff with this bundle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over into an overhead viewpoint and go over the items together. 
here we go. So we're gonna go with the smaller box first. The one that we got for thirty dollars. Um, actually, these things weren't included inside the original listing. I will post that listing on the video. I only saw these items, and I saw this Wii uh, steering wheel, and I. If you look at the pictures, you will see it actually had a Wii controller. So the seller most likely decided to take it out of the sale and include these items in. So let's take a look. Pokemon Art Academy. Empty box. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Pull another empty box Pokemon heart gold version does have some kind of booklet but empty box then we have Digimon world remember the cartoon of course empty box they kind of feel empty then we have Friday the 13th empty box the same Empty box, and the last one is Pokemon White version. It's empty as well. Don't get me wrong. Don't discourage yourselves when you find stuff like this, especially when it comes down to Pokemon being really hot right now, and the video games and the cards all go for some good money depending on what they are. You actually might just make money off of the box. If I find any good pricing on these, they will be posted on the video. As I said, the Wii U steering wheel. Now, these games were actually in the pictures that were listed with the, the items for sale. So we got Sims 2. So we got the game, which is good. And the booklet. That's awesome. Then the Shaw White. Snowboarding. Uh, comes also with the instructions, the booklet with the game. Then we have PlayStation 2 Stewart's Litter 3. Big Photo Adventure, sounds like it. The game is inside, the instructions. Not bad CD, looks almost brand new. Got a PlayStation 2 game, it's in here. It's okay, it's not the most perfect of conditions. I'll take it. I do have boxes left over from other games, especially like PlayStation and Xbox, and so I'll probably just this, uh, well, I don't know, it does have that sticker. I might include a, an extra case, a better case with this messed up case. These are portals that are usually are used for video games. Looks like I have three of them. This one, I believe, is the wireless one, so it just needs batteries. And we have Nintendo. Wii U charging dock stations and um, controller rests. As you can see, they have the charging port on the bottom, which I don't have the cables, but I could sell them as a set probably. Makes it money. It looks like this game for the PSP. It's damaged. I might have to get a replacement case, but it's NBL MLB The Show. Has some kind of multi port multi port charging system which i won't sell xbox memory card maybe it's just a regular xbox and we got some cards don't look like pokemon cards but for 30 bucks you know i was really expecting to have the controller for the wii on this steering wheel but bakers can't be choosers. I'm not going to make a big deal for something that um, may or may not have been included in the sale. That should have been more specific. So these are not anything spectacular here. So I don't think there's going to be a ton of money. And then just two magazines, Game Informers. I used to subscribe to them. Nice to play video games.
Next up is the items for the Wii U bundle that I got out of Summit, New Jersey. It was like a 30 minute, 25 minute drive up, 25 minute drive down. Really nice neighborhood. Look like clean household, so I might not have to even worry about cleaning the whole system. So we got Ghost Squad. Oh, actually has Wii Sports inside. No case, but that's okay. Then we have the Ghost Squad as well. Really nice. You could tell people took care of it by the CDs because there's minimum scratches in there. So not bad at all. I believe those were the only two games that were supposed to be in this bundle. Oh, we got the, the Nerf tennis racket. Another, as you could tell, it's pretty nice and fresh looking. We steering wheel. Then we got a Nerf golf club. And by the way, I'm gonna what I what I'm gonna be doing when I start this off is sell consoles separate. Um, majority is gonna be just with the uh, standard standard um, controller with the nunchuck. I will probably retain the other ones just in case I get more units and if they don't come with the accessories I need I could actually break them down and make them work with each other so that's one controller looks like the attachment that you would put this in and this looks like it will go in there guess what you're playing golf so it's not that bad probably back then was you know, like anything else with video games, it was worth some money. Man, how do you take this apart? Press. Oh man, we're having technical difficulties here. Ah, you just press the button. So you got that. We got a baseball bat that goes with this as well. Yep. Soft, so it's not like it's gonna smash some heads. That's not bad. So it looks like it comes with another golf club, which has some yellowing to it, yellow tint, but not that bad. It's not to that point where you might need to dip it into some kind of acid or chemical and bleach it. What do you expect for something that's been out there and being used or put away for years? So we got two Nerf tennis rackets, two Nerf golfing clubs, and two Nerf, Nerf baseball bats. We also have the other attachments, so you, two players could play at once. We have the Nintendo, looks like the gun attachment to the setup. Looks like it's in good shape. Not missing any parts, so basically you're your control will go here. I believe the nunchuck will go here so you can move at the same time when you're shooting. So that's not bad. All the pricings will be listed on the side of the videos. As you can see, is the Wii system. It does have the actual, all the pieces. Majority of the time, if you go on eBay and look at Wii U's, they have these covers missing. Most of them will be missing this cover. A lot of times you, you they they don't mess with this, so it does um, tend to retain itself in the in the console. But we got that there. We got the stand, like the original one I had before. Then it just comes with all the necessar necessary wires. You got the AC block, and you got the sensor. So basically everything that you need except the nunchucks. So I'm missing a nunchuck to this controller. But I do have spares, so I'm gonna include a nunchuck with with this. I don't know if I'm gonna make a one lot, but probably I will. I'll put it up for maybe like 169 or best offer and see if anybody bites. If they do. I'll take 150, 140 even, 
anything that doubles my money, including shipping. So, not bad. So, let's put this stuff away. Actually, to the last bags. So, this is the Sega Genesis bag that I showed you guys earlier in the car. As you can see, Sonic the Hedgehog comes with the instruction manual and the game, which is amazing. $29.99 plus shipping on that one. Then we have Hockey 93, Virtual Pinball, Madden 97, then it's International Soccer, NHL 94. Looks like somebody was a sports fan. Then we got Greatest Heavyweights. And this, what was this again? Tasmania. We got Mortal Kombat. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to go and play those quarter machines back in the day. Spent a ton of money losing. Then you got James Bond. Got another hockey game, NHL. We got Art Alive. And you never know. You might actually stumble on a rare one. And it's Cool Sport. And the last one is Aladdin. Pricing will be showed, uh, uh, shown on the video, especially what these games go for. But let's average just $5 each with shipping. So, you know, right here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 bucks. And this one, that's $29.99. So you're almost at $100 right there, just in those games. Not including the systems or anything like that. So you have the Nintendo Original Zapper right there. My silver one that I have, I don't, I'm not sure if I had the word zapper on it. But like I said, these Nintendo zappers, you can't really use on the TVs that we have today, especially LCD, plasma, or LEDs, because they would use the tube and the way those old tube TVs work by scanning and taking a picture of the pixels or the lines and knowing exactly where you're pointing to make you hit the target so you can't do that if you wanted to play with this you would have to get yourself an old DTV okay. then you got the Sega Genesis right here this is the version 2 that came out later from the version 1 the version 1 had buttons here I believe and of course you got this is the Nintendo power block. Okay. Random cables. Like I found those RF connectors. There's one here for the Nintendo. This is the Sega Genesis video connector, which would go, it's missing the side cover. I'd go back here, plug it in, and then this will go to your TV. I wonder if I can find that. The bottom part. The Sega Power Block. The Sega Genesis Control. And AVI cables. Alright, so looks like that's all for the cables. Okay, so we'll put the the stuff for the Sega on this end. And we're going to go with Nintendo now. So this game, this system actually came with a bunch of games. Which we'll go over in a second. This one's kind of, if you heard it, something's loose in there. So I'm going to most likely have to take it apart by these th three screws and see if everything's okay inside. Then for the Nintendo, let's move this out of the way. As you can see, 
very nice condition Nintendo controller. This one's kind of showing its wear. Model number NES004 made in Japan. This one is the same. Feels about the same weight, so it must might be original. They're not like my previous one that I found in the Heldon locker. This is the NES. You know, comes with the actual lid. It's a little yellowed out, but that's what happens with these systems. Most likely, from what it looks like, the system was inside an entertainment center and this was exposed to the sun. That's why you get this yellowing effect. Everywhere else, it looks like it's just kind of dirty, but in pristine condition. So, something to clean up. There's ways. There's um, chemicals, what you will do is you'll take this apart, you soak it in the chemical and hit it with UV lighting and it brings it back to almost the, the white or off-white color that you see here. So he did send me pictures of him testing the unit and that it turned on, which was very nice of him. These are the games, remote control, MTV, I'm not sure what kind of game it is. This is a, I can't really tell, but it's Climber. Somebody went marker on that one. And you got the Top Gun. Top Gun again. Home Alone 2. And you have Track and Field 2. Millions Secret Castle. Then you have Championship Bowling. This guy must have been a sports fan. Quarterback. I can't read the last name, but it's John. Not a sports guy. I apologize. I wouldn't know who that is. And you got Super Mario Brothers 3, which is a classic. Looks like the booklet for Home Alone 2. Then you have Winter Games. Tetris 2. Baseball. Silent Service, of course, the original Mario and Duck Hunt with the original case. Then you have Punch Out, which has some stickers on it, but that's not that bad. Looks like Mario Pinball, but it doesn't look like Mario. It looks like him, but it's not. I don't think so. And the last one is Marble Madness. So all in all, you know, I spent close to $300, not including the ride, which wasn't that bad. And I probably had $7 worth in gas and $6 worth in tolls that I had to pay. But I think I got pretty good value for everything that I have here. Like I said, this is a $30, like about $30 a zap gun. These systems go anywhere from especially Nintendo, they go from 50 bucks to 100 bucks, depending on condition and the accessories you're gonna give them. Games are five, let's say five bucks each. This was a $30 game. Let's say we could get, you know, $4 a piece out of these games and I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 games. The Sega Genesis uh, second, uh, second series version probably like a $40 game. I didn't see the cover for this back end. Maybe I could get it off of eBay, slap it on there. It says do not remove. It was probably for the Sega CD attachment. I remember I had Sega CD and it was a unit and you'd slide it in, click it, and you'd have a CD playing uh, games, which was the big thing. And those CD attachments that go for those Segas or the top version, CD attachment, big bucks, three, $300 sometimes. So, you know, never, you never know what's out there, what you could find, especially when it comes down to video games, that would be worth some decent money. So, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if I got a good deal. So, I think I'll make Good money on that that thirty dollars that wheel is going to probably go to that wii u system make two wheel steering wheels 
the attachments for this right here and make a one bundle for 200 bucks with the games see what happens with this i'm gonna probably break it all apart sell the systems individually maybe include in the system right here the the, the mario with duck hunt maybe i'll include the zapper depending on you know the prices like i said these were fully tested there were pictures sent conf uh, confirmed to me that they were operational so i'm not going to even bother trying to you know hook them up and go through the through the loops on testing them out but oh, you guys can't see it but look at those clean pins even though some of the some of these cartridges are dirty and on the outside but this gentleman really did take care of his video games and i appreciate that let's make that money out there